Hey YouTube. How's it going? We're back today. I got um, two of the girls with me. We are headed to photograph some waterfalls. Actually at the site we're going to, there is an upper and lower falls. The only thing about that is for each falls, there's several hundred steps that you have to go down to get to them. Um, we'll update a little bit later on the number of steps. We're headed to Cloudland Canyon in Northwest Georgia. So today we'll be shooting the Canon R5 with the 15 to 35 lens and Maven filters. All right, on the way to the waterfalls, let's talk about some of my tips for shooting them. A tripod is a must. You're gonna to wanna to use a slow shutter speed. And when you do that, you'll need that tripod to keep the camera steady. So you may have to take more than one shot. If the wind's blowing around, the foliage is sort of moving, you're gonna to have to use a faster shutter speed to get it nice and sharp and then your slower shutter speed for the water to get that nice dreamy effect that we're going for. You're going to want to use a low ISO and a high F stop. That'll help keep that shutter speed slow. If you can't get slow enough, you may have to use a neutral density filter. You're going to want to use a remote control or a shutter delay as with any slow shutter speed to keep that camera shake down. Hard scene, you may also want to consider focus stacking to get a sharp photo throughout. This way your foreground element can be in focus as well as your background. Don't be afraid to get wet. Some of my best waterfall shots have come from the middle of the creek or river. For your foreground element, get low. Use a rock covered moss or a leaf on a rock, especially in the fall, and get close to it. And if you get those colorful leaves, it adds an awesome pop of color. And most of all, have fun and enjoy the quest. All right, we made it down to the falls. This is the Lower Falls or uh, Hemlock Falls at Southland Canyon. As you can see, we're shooting with the R5. I was using a three-stop variable circular polarizer from Maven Filters. They're great. You just pull the cap off and they go on just that easy. I'm using one of the new caps as well. They've made my workflow super easy. I thoroughly enjoy them, like I said. Um, if you haven't checked them out, be sure and go check them out over at uh, Maven Filters. I'll put a link in the um, description below. I am not affiliated with them or sponsored by them. I have paid for all of my filters, but I thoroughly enjoy them. I was looking for some new filters after a trip out west last year. I actually fell in the creek trying to get to a good spot for a waterfall photo and me and the camera I had and my lens and my filters went under. When I came up, I did not have filters anymore. Although after a couple of days of drying out, the camera came back on, worked fine. The lens also worked fine. I put it in the dehumidifier. If there's any problems with it going forward uh, later this year, they'll be sent in for service. Hopefully it makes it to the end. Anyway, enjoy the uh, view here at Falvin Canyon. Hemlock Falls or the Lower Falls. Well, the falls are definitely worth seeing, but coming back up is rough. We uh, got the old heart rate up to about 140 at the moment, and we're about halfway there. So, still a ways to go. According to the Apple Watch, we've been up 25 flights of stairs and I got up to about 160 there coming up this last bit, which we'll show you a picture of here. I would call this a fairly strenuous hike. It's not very technical, it's a good trail, lots of good steps, but uh, yeah, it is definitely 
uh, not for the faint of heart. At the moment, we're sitting under the big rock. All right, we made it back to the rim. We had a good time um, shooting the Hemlock Falls. And then we saw another small falls from another overlook we got a couple pictures of. We didn't take any uh, photos from the upper falls. There's quite a few people swimming and enjoying that fall, so we uh, skipped it. Um, I will post the settings with the different photos so you can see how I shot them. Everything was shot on a tripod and with a polarizer. If you enjoyed this, please think about subscribing and like this video. Peace out, YouTube.